you're welcome to my channel in this video we are going to be introducing our new topic which is planning for research we are planning for research which is topic two business research skills and under this topic we shall first look at the research process what the research process is all about which steps the researchers are supposed to follow when they're carrying out research or when they are preparing for research yeah, so we shall start by defining the research process. Research process, this refers to the different steps that researchers need to consider while conducting a research or preparing to conduct a research. That's what we call a research process. Those steps that you're supposed to go through when you're carrying out research. Yeah. Let's look at the steps. The steps in the research process. Yeah, the first step is problem identification. When you're carrying out research, the first thing you're supposed to do is identify a problem because no research can be carried out without a problem. Yeah, you need to first find out maybe which problems is the society facing yeah, so that you can do research on how to solve that problem. Yeah, so the first step in the research process is problem identification. The next step in the research process is identification of the variables of study. The variables of study are always two. We have the dependent variable and then the independent variable. Yeah, maybe you found out that the performance of students is still low even though lecturers are teaching. Yeah, so you will have to find out which one is the dependent variable and which one is the independent variable. Yeah, so after identifying the problem, the next thing you do is identification of the variables of study. Then the next step, after identifying the variables of study, the next step is ascertaining the purpose, research objectives, and then research questions. We said one of the features of research is purposiveness. So a research must have an aim to achieve. Yeah, so you must ascertain the purpose or the aim to achieve the research objectives and then formulate the research questions. After ascertaining the purpose, research objectives and research questions, the next thing you do is to ascertain the methodology to follow while conducting research, like a method to follow while conducting research. In our previous videos, we saw one of the characteristics or pillars of research was rigor, and rigor means having a methodological design which is scientific and logical. So every research is supposed to have a method, a methodological design to follow. Yeah. So you have to ascertain the methodological design to follow while conducting research. That is the fourth step in the research process. After ascertaining the method to follow, the next thing you do is documentation of a research proposal. You put the research proposal in, in writing, the things that you're going to research about. You document it, you put it in writing. After documenting the research proposal, you present the research proposal maybe to other members, other members in the team for approval of the proposal. After presenting the research proposal for approval, once it's approved, you conduct the research study. The research study can be either field work or desk work, depending on the type of research that you're doing. So when you conduct the research study, the next thing you do is presentation of findings from the research study. You present what you found out after doing the research. After presentation of the findings, you make relevant conclusions basing on the findings. Yeah. And lastly, you make recommendations basing on the conclusions from the research study. Yeah. So those are the steps of the research process. The first step is problem identification. Then there is identification of variables of study. Ascertaining the purpose, research objectives, and research questions. 
there is ascertaining the methodology to follow while conducting research. Then we have documentation of a research proposal, presentation of the research proposal for approval. Then you conduct the research study. After that, you present the findings from the research study. After presenting, you make relative, relevant conclusions based on the findings. And lastly, you make recommendations based on the conclusions from the research study. That was all about the research process. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends and watch my next video. We shall be talking about a research problem.